okay students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students in today's lecture we will discuss circulatory system of earthworm dear students blood vascular system of ferritima postuma in this animal earthworm the blood vascular system is closed type as in this animal the blood flows through closed blood vessels dear students blood remains in confined blood vessels having definite wall in this system no body cavities no sinuses means blood remains in closed blood vessels so it is closed blood vascular system and this circulatory system in case of earthworm having four components blood blood glands blood vessels and hearts and anterior loops dear students this entire circulatory system of earthworm is divided into four parts blood blood glands blood vessels hearts and anterior loops its first component that is blood in case of earthworm blood is red in color dear students blood is red in color due to presence of respiratory pigment erythrocruorin or hemoglobin and this respiratory pigment it gets dissolved in blood plasma as in case of blood of earthworm no rbcs the blood corpuscles the blood cells are present which are amoeboid in shape and these blood corpuscles resemble leukocytes of vertebrates it means blood is red in color it having a respiratory pigment erythrocruorin or hemoglobin that respiratory pigments get gets dissolved in blood plasma no rbcs only wbc leukocytes amoebocytes blood glands second important part very important for competitive exams also blood glands dear students in case of earthworm segment number 4th segment number 5th and 6th possesses mass of reddish bodies these are red in color and these bodies which are named blood glands these blood glands produce blood blood corpuscles and respiratory pigment hemoglobin these blood glands are present in mass and these bodies these red colored bodies are present in segment 4th 5th and 6th segments blood vessels dear students in case of earthworm the circulatory system it is closed type and the arrangement number eight nature of blood vessels that is different in first 13 segments of body and in rest of the body the arrangement of blood vessels that is different from the anterior first 13 segments of body the main blood vessels of this circulatory system first of all dorsal blood vessel this is the dorsal blood vessel dear student which extends from the last part of the body up to the anterior most part of body this dorsal blood vessel this is largest blood vessel which lies above this elementary canal this is the diagram of elementary canal in our last lecture we have studied the components of elementary canal first part that is mouth that lies in peristomium then the buccal cavity up to the segment number third in the segment number fourth pharynx is there in the segment number fifth up to the segment number seventh it is esophagus segment number eighth or segment number eighth and ninth the masticating masticating organ that is gizzard and the segment number 10th up to the segment number 14th 
dear students this is stomach and from segment number 15th onward that is the largest part of elementary canal which is intestine in today's lecture we will discuss the circulatory system and the main blood vessels of this circulatory system first of all it is dorsal blood vessel largest blood vessel that lies mid dorsally above this elementary canal and this dorsal vessel which extends from the last part up to the anterior most part of the body this blood vessel dorsal blood vessel having valves in the posterior parts behind the 13 segments of the body this dorsal blood vessel acts as a collecting channel dear students in each intestinal segments in each segment this dorsal blood vessel receives two pair of from each segment this dorsal blood vessel receives one two two pairs of dorso intestinal vessels and these dorso intestinal blood vessels receive collect blood from this intestine from each segment again two pair of transverse vessels as well as in each segment of intestinal region this dorsal blood vessel receives it collects a pair of commissural vessels and these commissural vessels collect blood from this subneural vessel to the dorsal blood vessel it means this dorsal blood vessel behind the 13th segment of the body it acts as a collecting channel and this collecting channel receives from each intestinal segment receives two pair of dorso intestinal vessels which collect blood from each intestinal segment through two pairs of transverse vessels as well as a pair of commissural vessels and these commissural vessels collect blood from this subneural blood vessel and pump this blood into this dorsal blood vessel but this dorsal blood vessel in anterior 13 segments dear students in anterior 13 segments of body this dorsal blood vessel it becomes a distributing blood vessel it supplies blood vessels to dorso tegumentary means dorsal body wall to nephridia as well as elementary canal different parts of elementary canal to stomach gastric in this gizzard region in this esophagus pharynx buccal cavity in this dorsal blood vessel blood flows in forward direction Dear students, next main blood vessel of earthworm circulatory system that is ventral blood vessel. And this ventral blood vessel also extends throughout the body, mid-ventrally. And this ventral vessel lies below the elementary canal. Dear students, this dorsal vessel lies above the elementary canal. But this ventral vessel, it lies mid ventrally and below the elementary canal this ventral blood vessel in which blood flows in backward direction but dear students in this dorsal blood vessel blood flows in forward direction and this ventral vessel this also acts as a distributing channel here in dorsal blood vessel valves are present but in this ventral vessel no valves this distributing channel ventral vessel it gives blood vessels to each segment these are ventrotagumentary vessels 
Dear students, ventrotegumentary vessels. These vessels supply blood to body wall, nephridia, as well as these ventral vessel. This vessel also supplies blood to septal nephridia. In next lecture, I will cover nephridia, the excretory organs. Two main blood vessels. One is dorsal blood vessel that runs mid dorsally, which lies above this elementary canal, and this one is ventral blood vessel that runs mid ventrally. It lies below the elementary canal. The next blood vessel is subneural blood vessel. Dear students, this is subneural blood vessel. Subneural blood vessel, as it lies below the narrow cord, so it is subneural blood vessel. It runs from this 14th segment up to the last terminal part of the body. This subneural blood vessel, it collects blood. This subneural blood vessel collect collect blood it receives blood from the body wall the nephridia through neurotagumentary vessels and this subneural blood vessel in segment number 14th note down note down very important point in segment number 14th it bifurcates into two branches and these two branches both branches run on both sides of elementary canal. Dear students, these are a pair of, these are branches of bifurcation of this subneural blood vessel. It gives in segment number 14th a pair of branches. And these branches which run on both sides of this elementary canal and these are named lateral esophageal vessels. Dear students, this subneural blood vessel which extends from the segment number 14th up to the last segment and it is main collecting vessel. In segment number 14th, it bifurcates into two branches. And these branches run on both sides of this elementary canal. These are named lateral esophageal vessels and the next blood vessel is supraesophageal blood vessel this is very small this is the smallest blood vessel which lies from segment number 10th up to the segment number 13th this one is it is supraesophageal blood vessel dear students this supraesophageal blood vessel it receives blood from this lateral esophageal vessels through these two pair of anterior loops and these anterior loops which are valveless and these anterior loops are present segment number 10th and segment number 11th one pair in each Hearts. Not down competition student in case of earthworm, the blood vascular system is closed type. And in this circulatory system, four pairs of hearts. First two pairs of hearts lie in segment number seventh A pair, segment number ninth A pair. These are anterior hearts, and these hearts having valves. We check the blood flow. Dear students, these lateral hearts which pump the blood from this dorsal blood vessel to this ventral blood vessel and in segment number 10th and 11th again one pair of loops are there. These are anterior loops and these anterior loops pour the blood from this lateral esophageal vessel to 
द सुप्रा इसोफेगियल ब्लड वेसल इन सेगमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्थ एंड सेगमेंट नंबर थर्टीन अगेन ए पेयर ऑफ हार्ट इन ईच सेगमेंट नंबर ट्वेल्थ एंड सेगमेंट नंबर थर्टीन एंड दीज हार्ट आर लेट्रो इसोफेगल हार्ट एज दीज पोस्टीरियर और लेट्रो इसोफेगल हार्ट विच पम्प द ब्लड फ्रॉम this dorsal blood vessel as well as supra esophageal blood vessels to this ventral blood vessel it means in case of earthworm the circulatory system having four pairs of hearts first two pair of hearts these are anterior hearts and these anterior hearts are lateral hearts which lie in segment number 7th and 9th one pair in each Seventh segment and ninth segment number tenth and eleventh. These are valveless loops, and these loops are anterior loops. These a pair of loops in each segment number tenth and segment number eleventh, and each anterior loop carry blood from this lateral esophageal to supra esophageal. and dear students in segment number 12th and 13th again a pair of hearts in each segment number 12th and 13th and these hearts posterior hearts these are lateral esophageal hearts which carry blood from this dorsal blood vessel as well as from this supra esophageal blood vessel to this ventral blood vessel this is all about circulatory system of earthworm it is closed type the students note down as in case of earthworm the blood remains in closed vessels there are no cavities no sinuses closed type of circulation in this earthworm its main component blood which is red in color the respiratory pigment is erythrocruorin or hemoglobin that respiratory pigment is dissolved in blood plasma no rbcs only amebocytes only leukocytes wbcs cells are present corpus cells are present and the second component blood glands and these blood glands which are reddish bodies present in segment number 4th 5th and 6th segments and these blood glands produce blood blood corpuscles and respiratory pigment dear students blood vessels and the number nature and arrangement of blood vessels is different in first 13 segments and rest of the body the main blood vessels in case of earthworm this is the dorsal blood vessel which runs mid dorsally above this alimentary canal and in mid ventral region another blood vessel which runs below this alimentary canal it is ventral blood vessel and below this ventral blood vessel another blood vessel it is sub neural blood vessel and dear students in segment number 14th this sub neural blood vessel it bifurcates into two branches which run on both sides of this alimentary canal in this segment number 13 first 13 segments and these a pair of blood vessels which run on both sides of this alimentary canal up to this 13 segments it is lateral esophageal vessel and the smallest blood vessel which runs from segment number 10th up to the 13th segment the smallest blood vessel is supra esophageal blood vessel here in case of earthworm four pairs of hearts a pair of hearts are anterior these are lateral hearts and these lateral hearts lie 
इन सेगमेंट नंबर सेवंथ एंड सेगमेंट नंबर नाइन्थ वन पेयर इन ईच सेगमेंट नंबर टेंथ एंड इलेवेंथ दीज आर ए पेयर ऑफ एंटीरियर लूप्स विच आर वालेस दीज आर नोट हार्ट विच सिंपली कैरी ब्लड फ्रॉम दिस लेट्रो इसोफेगल टू सुपरा इसोफेगल एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स दीज पोस्टीरियर हार्ट विच आर अगेन टू पेयर्स वन पेयर इन ईच ट्वेल्थ एंड थर्टीन सेगमेंट and these posterior hearts are lateral esophageal heart this is all about circulatory system of earthworm dear students it is closed type having four components blood blood glands blood vessels four pairs of hearts in segment number 7th 9th 12th 13th one pair in each and two pairs of anterior loops in segment number 10th and 11th one pair in each in next next lecture means tomorrow's lecture we will discuss excretory system nephridia